Wars fans and action figure collectors got another Black Series video. We've got a two-pack. I'm very excited about this one. Captain Enoch and Night Trooper. Very excited to uh, get my hands on this one. Sort of showed up, just randomly. Um, I had it on pre-order through EB Games. Unfortunately, this one wasn't available through through work at Kessel Run Hair. Um, yeah, just one of those one of those weird exclusives that, yeah, we didn't get an access to. So, yeah, picked up at EB Games. Um, yeah, wasn't expecting it till later in the month, but here he is. Here they are. Um, yeah, cool looking two pack. I feel like Enoch could probably get his own his own figure released singularly, much like the vintage collection version. I feel like he could have gone on a individual card rather than the four pack. But here we are. We've got it. Maybe the night troopers wouldn't sell as well on their own. So here is the picture in the box. Looking pretty good. I've been looking forward to getting Enoch in this scale. I think he looks really, really cool. Great character design. And one of potentially many Night Troopers, I dare say. We'll see more of these in the future in this scale. We have a bio on the back there. Pictures on the side. And yeah, just the window on the side. Nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom, nothing important anyway. Looking forward to busting these open. Let's do exactly that and take a look. All right, guys, here are the figures right in front of you. They look great. Really excited about these two. Um, we'll get a look at the accessories first. Um, Night Trooper. We'll call him Night Trooper Dave. No, I don't know. We'll just call him Night Trooper. Yeah, he comes with a pretty standard E11. It's sort of the modern version of the E11, slightly different to the to the old one, but that's cool. Maybe it's the E11D. I don't. I can't remember. I can't remember all those little details. Sort of go straight over my head these days. <laughs> it's too hard. But yeah, cool looking blaster. Nicely sculpted, no extra paint details, which is always a little bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. Better than better than nothing. Um, I personally don't know if I'm going to display the Night Trooper with, with the blaster. I kind of like them being the sort of just walking zombies. And then we get Enoch's blaster rifle, which is cool. Like the, sort of the gold, gold sort of trim. On some of the parts of it, nicely sculpted. Pretty unique. So that's nice. That will go in his holster, which is always always a lovely addition. But yeah, for this I think we'll start off with the with the night trooper. So yeah, a lot of unique parts with this figure. Um newly sculpted parts. It's it's really good. Um I love what they've done with this one. Really, really cool. So I thought we could just get a look at the uh, the paint details. Obviously, a new sculpted helmet, allowing for the sort of the cracks that go in the, with the gold. And we assume all the armor was shattered, sort of at the point where they uh, traveled through hyperspace with the whales, with the Pergil at the end of Star Wars Rebels. So you know they're sort of. Night Sister Magic and all their red cloth had to sort of wrap them all up and tie them all back together to recreate the uh, the Stormtrooper army. Again, allowing for a few few reused parts, you know, for simple simple Stormtrooper, which is the parts that don't have the sort of the red cloth wraps. Much like they did with the Vintage Collection 4-pack, there's, um, you know, more or less just a new new sculptor Stormtrooper and then mix and match with with regular Stormtroopers such as this one. He's got the just the plain arm, plain hand. That side of the leg is all sort of plain Stormtrooper, that part through there. And then, yeah, as they do more, they can sort of intermatch wraps and bits and pieces. So, yeah, the torso on this one does have all the, the cracks sort of sculpted in. And it's literally just that sort of overlay. So it's much easier for Hasbro than just you know, 
you know, completely re-sculpting from the ground up and doing all the tooling on the inside. And it's just got to do that. But yeah, new sculpt for the, uh, in the middle there. Shoulders. Obviously got the sort of the red wraps. A bit on the hand there, around the arm. All the detail, all the gold details are all sort of, they're all molded in. The paint doesn't quite line up, but that's fine. Potentially even a little bit of missing paint there, but you could just put that down to, to dents and nicks and dents and stuff like that. Even going around to the back, get some more of that gold, gold sort of super glue. <laughs> The red wrap going under there, back there too. So a nice, a nice take on the uh, on the classic stormtrooper, the TKs. And uh, yeah, the closest thing I think we'll ever get to like the the stormtroopers from the old Red Harvest, Red Harvest and Death Trooper books from the old expanded universe, which were even then they were sort of non canonical to. The expanded universe, they're kind of just their own thing from memory. But yeah, I like sort of posing this one up. I hope we get like, you know, a TIE pilot and Death Trooper as well. I think that would be cool. As part of the the line going forward with Ahsoka. Interesting whether we we do actually see these guys again. Once Thrawn sort of Yeah, gets onto Dathomir and Revives the Night Sisters, and we assume he's able to rebuild, rebuild his fleet. We have some new stormtroopers. Yeah, I'd love to see one with the, with the, with the face sort of hanging out of smash helmet. I think that would look cool. It's just sort of posing him up like this. It's just that looks really good. Uh, Articulation-wise, he does have the ball joint in the top of the head, ball joint in the top of the neck, ball joint in the bottom of the neck, ball hinges in the shoulders, does have those butterfly joints, ball hinges in the elbows, ball hinges in the wrists, in and out on the left hand, up and down hinge on the right hand, got the torso joint there, great range of movement. Again, these Stormtroopers are just some of the best Black Series period. Uh, ball and socket in the thighs, in the hips, swivels in the thighs, a hinge in the knee, hinge in the ankle, and then a rocker in the foot. And uh, yeah, we'll do the uh, we'll do the old peg test on this guy. Make sure his uh, feet work well. I'm sure they will. So he's still using the 2020 feet, which is fine. And there, the old Kessel Run figure stand sits nicely. They keep him nice and stable. And he sort of zombies his way around. <laughs> He's a little bit top heavy, but that's all right. We'll just pose him up a little bit. So that's looking cool. Let's put him towards the back so we can get a look at Captain Enoch. You know, what a what a great looking design, honestly. Like it's it's so cool. Like I'd love to know a little bit more about who this guy is, whether he's um you know, who he is, who he was, and who he's going to be. You know, he's definitely not a zombie, he has spoken. <laughs> but yeah, the the helmet just the way that sort of face has sort of been welded into, you know, a bit of a mix of a stormtrooper and you know, very imperial. But yeah, it's almost got that sort of shore trooper sort of look to the front, the range troopers. You got the imperial sort of symbols up on the forehead too. And around the back, yeah, very, very stormtrooper. But yeah, it's sort of an amalgamation of a lot of different imperial, imperial designs. 
and just with this sort of gold face thrown in the middle, this sort of anonymity, quite a stern look. You know, it's intimidating. Yet, you know, has some kind of ornate look to it. So again, this guy's using a new a new torso. You know, that sort of slip-on sleeve, the actual armor piece. So you've got the, like the cracks and stuff are all molded in there. Unfortunately, that's where it stops because they haven't done it with the uh, the shoulders. That's all just sort of painted lines, which, you know, again, it's fine. Um, same with the arm. You know, reusing quite a lot of parts just from the standard Stormtrooper, obviously, in different colors. Again, just sort of getting the gold lines down to the legs. Standard store Stormtrooper legs. Which works. I like the little flashes of gold. Again, some of the welding sort of super glue. Gold super glue. Little black plate there, a bit more gold on that leg as well. But it's nicely, nicely painted. I guess what's well, one one benefit to not having the sculpts, you don't have to worry about the paint getting in the cracks. They're just there. And it's fine. I'll, I'll I'm not upset about it at all. Obviously, quite a bit of new tooling, you know, with the helmet, the, the chest plate, and the uh, belt, and sort of the skirt, I guess you call it, being a new piece. Looks good too. Just the sort of the mix of the golds and the maroons. That sort of charcoal colour as well with the white. The gold on his belly. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to Grand Admiral Thrawn showing up. Hopefully within the next hopefully within the next week or so. So yeah, definitely looking forward to having Thrawn and Enoch sort of just standing together on the shelf. A sort of Mandalorian era Ahsoka shelf. It's it's quite full. I'm gonna to have to space things out very, very shortly. Yeah, really, really digging this guy. So again, his articulation is the same as the Night Trooper. Got the ball joint in the head, ball, ball and socket in the top of the neck, and the head, ball and socket in the neck, bottom of the neck, ball hinges in the shoulders, and got that butterfly joint. We can fly like a butterfly. Got the joint, nice joint in the torso there. Ball hinges in the elbows, ball hinges in the wrists. Again, this one in and out. That one up and down. Does have, again, the same, the ball and socket in the hips. Swivel with the thighs. A little bit beholden to, you know, it's not going to... It's a little bit uh, restricted due to the, the plastic skirt. But that's all right. Ball hinge in the knees. Ball hinge in the ankles and rockers in the feet too. So let's give him his blaster and get it out of his holster. Nice tight fit there in the hands, which is great. And then we have Captain Enoch. Looking totally badass. Yeah, really, really happy with this one. Again, let's do the peg test. We know this is going to fit. It's the same feet. And there we have it. Captain Enoch and the first of many night troopers. Hopefully. I'd like to have another three. I think that would be cool. A nice little even squad of four. Even Ezra Bridger. Put Ezra Bridger's head on there. <laughs> that would be fantastic too. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment down below. 
sound out. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. I oh, thank you for your support. We'll catch up very soon for some more Star Wars action figure reviews. Until then, may the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.